welcome 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 back to another edition of fifi manfred on youtube i am grateful to have you here very very grateful to have you here for everything that you've done um for me for the brand for the growth i'm, I'm immensely grateful and again i love to go back and mention the various people who have been very very instrumental to the growth that we've had here at fifi manfred on youtube i want to say thank you to you um to the guys in nigeria you have been instrumental to our good to so everybody that comments, that sent in the comment in there from Nigeria. Guys, I'm very, very grateful to the guys in Zambia, Zimbabwe, Kenya. The analytics tell us that you guys are huge, huge, huge lovers of the brand. And I want to say a big thank you to you also. To everybody uh, in the USA, the Ghanaians in there, the non Ghanaians in there, um, and to the UK as well, the Ghanaians in there, the non Ghanaians in there. I want to say a big thank you to you. And then, of course, to my country in Ghana, I want to say a big thank you to you for all the love that you've shown us. So, yeah, thank you very much and we are back again with a lot of juicy stuff i know for the chelsea folk when chelsea lose a game they don't really want to have anything to do with football but i mean the job has to go on um it is what it is we got to do our work we have to do on and analyze games even when um we are not in the mood to because this is why i promise to give you the best in football tactical and analysis and there you are going to have it but guys before we even talk about anything chelsea football club I know there's a lot for me to talk about. Um, Chelsea are looking at doing some transfer business um, in the summer. They are looking at buying some more players. They are looking at, um, especially in the general, in the winter, actually. Chelsea are now looking hugely, especially after the game against Everton. Mauricio Pochettino was Everton. And he needs reinforcement and he needs experience. He needs people who have aggression and height and then have that physicality and that have that um that charisma to be part of the team he thinks that his team is just too young and they fail to fight when he, it matters most mind you that game against everton what came as no surprise to me yes i feel that chelsea that could be the game that chelsea would turn it season around but chelsea keep on keeps on losing at good same park the last time chelsea won was with thomas to kill in his first season and that was even a lackluster one so it, 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 it was always going to be a difficult one and it was a difficult one for Chelsea. But I see, guys, before we get into the Chelsea conversation, there's a lot more to talk about in the world of football. First of all, are you taking Girona serious or not? Girona, are you taking them serious or not? Because I, I think that for everybody that loves football, there is the need to take Girona serious now. There are two main reasons why I think you should take Girona serious. And it's their manager, Michel who is a brilliant tactical mind, sets up the team in a way that whilst they want to play out from the back on the front foot, progressive football, when they don't have the ball, they tend to also know when to manage games, go long, like yesterday in their third goal, using Christian Stuani as an outlet, holding up play and then scoring. Especially after Girona scored their second goal yesterday, Barca had loads of the ball. But they were not able to dominate play. They were not able to hit Girona because defensively they were very compact. And I think it's just an embodiment of a team that understands the principles that the manager wants to play in. And now they are just on autopilot and the automatisms are just in there. And they get the job done over and over and over again because these are routines that they've done over and over again. And they just add a great aggression and then they get a job done. Only Real Madrid have beaten Girona. And only Real Madrid have beaten Barcelona. When the season then the game was going to go on these are teams that have just lost to just these two teams and they knew that either of them had to win for barcelona if they needed to win and javi needed to get the season back on track but he's still down there and then it's important i remember i said earlier that if they had lost this game to Girona and they had lost the game against atletico de madrid they could have gone about 10 points away from Girona. but now here they are um on the part of barcelona I just think that they met a better side on the day. Barca have that very good, solid base in there. Was Gunduhan playing some good football, but it's just not enough to get a job done. And then they are suffering um, in that regard. And you, you know that they are going to get a job done with time. I mean, Arsenal versus Aston Villa was a big one, but I wasn't surprised. I kept on saying that you see, Unai Emery is doing something very brilliant. And on my Twitter, I did an analysis of how Unai Emery man marked Arsenal on the left hand side. Barcelona consistently had a lot of rotations and movements from that side. Using Kai Havertz, Gabriel Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus, um, and then Alexander Zinchenko. 
a lot of the time to evade what um, um, Unaemi wanted to do. I think Arsenal generally had a hold of the game. They controlled large parts of the game. They just failed to convert the chances that they had at their disposal. And that was, I mean, that's the most important part of the game. You need to convert the chances in there. If you don't convert the chances, then you are in trouble. You need to convert the chances. And it's the chances that are all very, very important when it comes to games like this. So those are it. But see, Pochettino says he needs three players, a midfielder, a defender, and then a striker. I don't know what you make of this. And I want to ask everybody that's joining us on FIFA Man put on YouTube today. That, do you think that Chelsea needs to sack Mauricio Pochettino? Should Pochettino be sacked? Or you don't think so? What do you make of Pochettino? Do you think that everything that went on against the games that Chelsea have lost points in is his fault? Or you think that there's a lot more that he can do? Again, have this perspective of injuries that he has had. And how he wants to play. And I will always tell you the story of how Pochettino came to Chelsea. Pochettino is essentially a transitional manager. I've said it time and again that you see, he may not be the manager to win Chelsea trophies, but in the in the short term, in the transitional time, he is the manager that's going to um, put things together and build a structure for Chelsea to build on. So when he came in preseason, he changed into a three-two-five shape and was very good. Chelsea progressed the ball in the four-two-four. Was brilliant. And Chelsea were getting things done right. I was excited because, for once, Pochettino was beginning to um, was beginning to um, write me wrong. He was beginning to make me wrong. But the injury to Nkuku and Kani Chukwemeka for me has changed Chelsea's season. Essentially, instead of trying to play in that four three three and then progressing from there and then using those JPD principles, JPD is essentially the jargon, the the um, the position, essentially positional play. Um, in football in balance now he has to be more transitional he has to be more transitional the team is essentially hinged on Conor Gallagher Gallagher gets the job that he presses he uses the team uses his intensity Chelsea usually bypass Enzo Fernandez and Comois Caicedo and they go to the wing play and it doesn't help the club the team needs to be patient and play to them they want to play in a very good 4-3-3 but the materials are not there if Lavia and Kani Chukwe make an outfit to play in it and, and I remember one time when I said that immediately Lavia comes into this team Conor Gallagher will not have a place to play in the, a part to play in the team. I said it that once Lavia is in there and he's back and he's getting the job done, he sets the team into a 4 3 3. Again, one of Chelsea's biggest problem is Robert Sanchez. And you see, there's no need for me to be excited with somebody's injury. But for me, I was a little bit relieved that Jorgi Petrovic at least gets a look into. And I know that he's going to try and play out from the back. He was successful at finding Moise Caicedo in that hole. My, uh, Robert Sanchez never sought to find Moise Caicedo. Always trying to go to the right back and to the sassy. Who's not comfortable on the ball? And you see, all of this is at the helm of Mauricio Pochettino. I think that he could have done a better job at de developing some players and still sticking to how he wanted to play. In fact, he just switched from how he wanted to play in preseason. I was working for him. And then decided to come and play in, in, in a more traditional way. That needs a lot of aggression. That needs a lot of intensity. That need, needs players to, 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 to want it more. And these players have also failed mentally. But you know, after the game, they tell the Everton press that Chelsea were better than Everton. That is true. Sean Dyke even didn't dispute that. That is true. But you need to find ways to win. Set pieces, the ugly part of the game. It is important. To employ the ugly parts of the game. It's part of the transition. You see, I'm beginning to get tired of Mauricio Pochettino. And I'm asking, is he out of his depth? Or do I still have to have patience in him? The job of an analyst is not to hold brief for a manager. You say it as it is. You're not even supposed to unlike a manager. So, Pochettino is just doing things over and over again. That's not getting him the results. And he keeps on doing them. Now, the injuries have gone back there again. And, and, and I must say, he has been unfair with the age of the squad, but he knew it before he joined in. Again, apart from that, he has been a little bit unlucky with injuries. Reese is gone. Robert Sanchez, his first choice goalkeeper, is gone. Wesley Fofana won't play this season. Romeo Lavia has not fully returned. Christopher and Kuku. You see, you know, let me tell you something. Nobody to put too much pressure on Kuku because this is what the, the Chelsea fans are going to do. They will start their toxic attitude. 
telling Kuku, oh, come in, Kuku is called Boothman, Kuku comes in to school, and they start calling him Kuku name, Kuku is a loser, Kuku is that, and they start abusing him. See, this is no fault of any owner. Chelsea aren't where they used to be in the past. Chelsea and Mourinho and then even Antonio Conte had men. These are boys. That was a team that could go to war. This team cannot go to war. There's a lot more to be done. And it's the reason why you need to be patient with this team. With respect to growth. Albeit, I think that the sporting directors have to do more with adding more experience and more level-headed people into the team. These are young chaps that when a ball goes in, they tend to lose it. I mean, when the team isn't clicking, Raheem Sterling, Cole Palmer, Mando Bruya came in, they didn't really show so much. Jackson came, their chances fell to him. He didn't really make the best out of it. What is going on at Chelsea Football Club? Like, really, what is going on? I keep on asking myself this. Because tactically, the team isn't where it has to be and now it's going to take time. But whilst the process is important, Thomas Tuchel said this, you need also to be winning. Where are the wins? How are they going to grind wins? How are they going to navigate wins? If you look at the, the, the squad, what formation does it fit? Three back, four back, four, two, three, one. Which variation? Which nominal formation? It's important. And I blame Mauricio Pochettino for all of these things. But really, if you tell me that he has to be sacked, and I look at you and I say, you're not serious, are you? Because there's no point sacking Mauricio Pochettino. It's going to come good, but it will take time. What we are saying is that we need to see progress. And things are getting wrong. Too much fluidity. How do you play Aston um, 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 Everton? And you play in a 3 1 6. It's, it's, it's not sustainable. It's too fluid. You concede goals. Chelsea are consistently conceding from set pieces. Come on, Gallagher. I don't get how a player of that caliber can take an extra yellow card in games against Brighton. But in a game like this, that you could take just a yellow card. It will take, make a yellow uh, um, a technical foul for the team. You opt against it, and Dwight McNeil turn the balls over and Chelsea are in trouble. It is getting out, man. I think they need to react. The next game is against Sheffield United at home. The fans are going to boo them. The reality is what Mojo Botetino said Chelsea are not in a top six side now. It is going to be huge for Chelsea to qualify for Europe next season. But that said, in progression, in growing the club, the club has to see some progress, some successes. In wherever they are going to. Successes are not there. Just you haven't seen those things. There's a need to see stuff like that. It is very, very important. It is important. And it is time for him, Mauricio Pochettino, to look at things the right way and try to develop how he wants to play. Devoid of these injuries. He's supposed to have a plan B. Where is the plan B? Where is the plan B? Why are we to see the second plan? How are we to see the plan B? Why is Mauricio Pochettino giving us keys of excuses? Yes, the club will go into the market and buy for him in, in, in January. They'll buy a striker, they'll buy a midfield, they'll buy a centre back. But the structures have to be seen on and off the ball. Chelsea are too lethargic. They are consistently being bullied by everybody in the English Premier League. And that's my worry. And a lot has to be done. What is going on at Chelsea Football Club? So the question I ask. See, I need to go, but I know this is frustrating. Let me know what you think. Please. My name is Ify Manfred. Please give me my phone on YouTube.